Mm. Jesus. What's up, y'all? Just finished the morning yoga. You know what I'm saying? I had to get that in. I will say to those, you know what I'm saying, who become of age and whatnot, I suggest that you, you know, get into some type of workout plan because it'll help you when you get older and whatnot. And as young as it used to be. Hmm. But anyway, welcome to another wise tale. So what's on the plate today? Hmm. Well, check this out. As I said, I've been around the world twice now. And this particular story that I'm getting ready to tell y'all is about when I was down in Australia, Sydney, Australia. At the particular time, um, I per excuse me, Operation Iraqi Freedom just has started. Now, this particular story actually takes place right after my unit had left. And it was myself and it was my brother Reason. We were taking a, a boat ride back to the States. And we stopped off in Sydney, Australia. First off, I'm going to say this. I love Sydney. I love Australia. I love Australians. Australian people are some of the most cool, laid-back people I've ever met in my entire life. I mean, I'm keeping it real when I say this. I mean, they're seriously that cool, that chill, that real. Um, to anybody who states the fact that um, people in different countries don't like Americans, I'm just going to put forth to everyone like this. The reason for that is because not every American treats people with respect. So if you're in another country and you can't show the people their respect, of course, they're not going to like Americans. But when you've had a rambunctious amount of Americans that do nothing but disrespectful things and treat, you know, the people of a different country as if they're in America when they're not in America, that's where the hostility comes into play. But anyway... There was one, so um, me and uh, Reason, we're up in Australia, right? We come off the boat and we run to this girl. This girl was looking for the sailor and whatnot that was on one of the boats that was in the formation that headed out there with us. And we were like, well, you know, we ain't got nothing going on. Myself at the time I was married, Reason at the time he was married. And we were sitting there, you know, being good Samaritans and whatnot, saying, well, you know, we don't know this guy and whatnot, but, you know, you can hang with us, see if we run into him. And at the same time, you know, you can be our little tour guide. And she's worked as a tour guide before, so I was like, cool, you know, that helps us out. Because I ain't, I ain't know Adam's Eve about Australia. The only thing I remember about Australia, you know, that was significant, you know, other than um, koala bears and, and, and kangaroos and the opera house, you know. Those were the only three things I really knew about Australia. So, I mean, to walk around Australia and whatnot was pretty cool. Um, when it comes to the dancing experience, um, one of the nights that we spent in Australia, we, uh, she took us to a club named Warm World Spur. Excuse me, One World Sport. It's probably shut down because it's been many, many, many years since I've been out there. But you know what? I can't wait to go back. And I am going back one day. <laughs> so, whatever. So, at, you know, at the time, I want to say this was around the time where sea walking was highly popular in the States. And for those who have, you know that problem with certain uh, dance styles being gang related, tied and whatever whatnot, you're all full of crap. It's a freaking dance style. You cannot control the dance world. I don't care what group, what gang, y'all need a bad back. Seriously. So, with that being said, you know, I was out in One World Sport, me and Reason were, we're on the dance floor, and we start sea walking, right? And, you know, we're getting into it, whatever, whatnot. It was actually pretty cool, 
you know, a lot of people, you know, were gathering around us and whatnot, so, you know, we looking like superstars, so we doing a couple routines, you know, getting it all in. Well, um, the, the girl that we were with, you know, she, she grabs Reason, and she wanted to talk to him for a second about something, I don't know what particular it was, but next thing I know, I got like five different Australian guys coming out of nowhere. And I'm sitting here like, am I going to battle these guys? What am I about to do with these guys? These guys literally wanted me to teach them how to sea walk. So I'm almost conducting dance class in the middle of a club on the dance floor. Maybe two of these guys are drunk. And literally they could not figure how to switch step with their feet to do, you know, the sea walk. And I'm sitting there like, you know, like, one, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. I mean, literally, that's what I was doing on the dance floor. I'm sitting there like, Jesus, there we go. <laughs> but it was a good time, though, right? Now, as I'm doing this, you know, just like anybody else, sometimes you get that feeling that, you know, somebody's watching you a little bit too hard, you know, just a little bit too hard. Just, you know, well, what's up with these eyes on me, right? So, I'm looking around, I, I don't notice, but next thing you know, this tall girl. Now me, I'm 5'10", 5'10", 5'10 and a half, whatever. This chick probably was either 6'1". Six six and I'm like, okay, you know, honestly, you know, I couldn't tell, you know, whether, you know, she had age, she looked like she was Asian, maybe a little bit black in her, I, I couldn't really tell, but, you know, she came at me, I'm sitting here like, you know, you want to dance, or, you know, you want to battle, you know, whatever, right, so she comes at me, we start freaking, so I'm sitting there like, alright, we can do this, we can do this, but the way she's doing it is if, you know, she coming at me like, you know, battle type, and I'm like, I don't know where you learned how to freak from, but, you know, I ain't no punk. I'm going to jump on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting on it, getting down, whatever, whatnot. And, you know, I'm noticing, you know, some more eyes on me. I'm sitting here like, I hate having that feeling. It's not, isn't, it's not the fact of being on the dance floor and having a bunch of people watch you. It's the fact that you have that one, that one person. That's tearing through the whole crowd. And they looking dead at you like if you mess up, if you do something out of context, you do whatever. And it's like they're about to pounce on you. And you sitting there like, what do I do? I mean, literally, what do I do? I'm at a club, I'm dancing with a chick, and I'm feeling like somebody about to pounce on me. Now, I'm not even going to lie. You know, girl was attractive. But you know. At the time, as I said, I was married. So I'm sitting there like, hey, I'm just going to give you a dance and be done with it. Didn't even realize I'd been dancing with this girl for like eight tracks and whatnot. I'm like, okay, you know, no big deal. Next thing you know, she just, you know, she walks away and whatnot. I'm sitting there like, okay, you know, got to dance with an attractive female, you know, cool, you know, ha have me a good night. And then for some odd reason why I'm about to walk off the dance floor, right, I stopped. I turn, this chick walked over to this white boy that was sitting right next to the uh, dance floor and whatnot, Australian white boy, you don't you know what I'm trying to say, you know, no offense, um, and started kissing on him and whatever whatnot. Now from there, I'm thinking, okay, that was your boyfriend, you know, okay, you know. I have no harsh feelings. I'm not trying to press on, you know, get your number, nothing. But she trying to do everything she can do to make sure he don't get up. I'm sitting here like, he's that jealous? And that was one of the questions that I ended up asking, you know, our little tour guide. I was like, so why do a lot of Australian females pine after American guys? And she was flat out and straight up with it when she said she was like, a good portion of Australian guys are too serious. And I was like, can you give me an example? She was like, well, let's let's take a holiday like Valentine's Day, right? Which is coming up. Um, Valentine's Day, you know, let's say that, you know, our 
a typical Australian guy, you know, he may get a card, maybe a flower, say, you know, Happy Valentine's Day, and that's it. Sometimes not even a card or flower. American guys, you know, it's typical because of, you know, our social bring upbringing and whatnot that, you know, it's, you know, a hey, card, candy, you know, make a female feel appreciative. So, because I was giving her a dance on the level that she wanted, he was feeling offended because he felt as if I was trying to push up on his girl. And I'm sitting there like, that ain't even the case. But, you know... Drama is drama regardless of where you go and whatnot, but I didn't take it to heart, but I felt kind of sorry for the dude is because, you know, one thing, ladies, that you have to pay attention and understand, if you go to a club, I don't care where you're from, where you're at, if you go to a club with your man, it's common courtesy for you to dance with him at least once. If he wants to dance. It's actually a disrespect. To you as a female. If your man don't dance with you. So I don't care if. It's reverse scenario. Whatever what not. If you are in a relationship. And you take. You know. Your significant other. To. A club. One dance. You got to give them one dance. If you don't give them one dance. I don't care who you are. That is straight disrespectful. And. It, it's not it's not to say that hey you know pre can they can't handle it or whatever whatnot it's just the fact that hey you know if you really care about somebody if you're really in a relationship and whatnot then you should know that that person wants to spend time with you and sometimes being in a club setting being at a particular point where you're able to express yourself and be on the dance floor and being in the midst in midst with that person and whatnot it's a respect you know. It's disrespectful, you know, if a guy, you know, dances with a gang of girls and whatnot, not dance with his girl, but, you know, like I said, at least one dance. Now, if you have that understanding between you, that's what's up. If you don't, you may, and you may need to switch, switch, switch females, switch dudes, do what you need to, but, you know what I'm saying? But that's, you know what I'm saying, that was the first story, you know, of one of my... Australian experiences and whatnot, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I can't wait to go back. It was a lot of fun. But y'all take care, man. See y'all next time. One.